Boop, boop. <sighs> Welcome to another Beer and Code. Starting a new tradition, hopefully. Um, thank you for joining me. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Today, we're going to be doing uh, Project Euler. Uh, if you don't know what Project Euler is... Uh, it's a really cool website that offers uh, a bunch of mathematical problems that uh, they challenge you to solve. And once you solve them, you get access to the forum, and they tell you if your answer is correct. Uh, and the goal is to just solve as many problems and have as much fun as, as you want. Um, so today, in my video, I'm going to be solving uh, a couple in JavaScript. Uh, before I get started, though, let's talk about the beer I'm drinking. This one is called... Oh, Glare. Um, this one is called Nordeast. It is by Greenbelt Brewing uh, out of New Ulm, Minnesota. It's called an Amber Lager. Um, I like it because it's a little sweeter. It's a, a very easy drinker. Um, so, yeah, it's one of my favorites. Everyday beers. It's really good. Alright, under the code. Uh, so, like I said, I'm doing Project Euler. And let me just show you the little setup I have here before we go on. Uh, I have a little spot for some utility functions we're going to be writing. And I have... Oh, by the way, I've never solved these problems before with JavaScript. I have with lots of other languages. I like to use Project Euler to practice just new languages or if I'm bored um, because I like to program. But I've never solved these with JavaScript. Um, I did set up a little bit of a framework where there's some code here that processes this problem tracker array and for each entry in the pop problem tracker array it puts one of these solution entries in here so let's just copy this and we'll call this problem tracker number two and we'll return 42 uh, refresh the page you see another uh, entry pops up and I click solve if I want to see the solution for number one or if I want to see the solution for number two uh, it gives me those solutions but what we're going to be doing now is correctly running this function that returns the answer for problem number one let's look at and see what that looks like problem number one is multiples of three and five if we list all of the natural numbers below 10 that are multiples of 3 or 5, we get 3, 5, 6, and 9. The sum of those multiples is 23. Find the sum of all multiples of 3 or 5 below 1,000. Okay? So we're going to be summing. We're going to start at 0. Oh, by the way, I'm trying to do these as fast as I can, just for the fun of it. So we're going to be summing up. So I need a sum variable. And we're going to loop through the numbers below 1,000. Fro, 4. 1,000, and now we need to see if these items, whoops, ah, if these items are multiples of 3 or 5, so if we'll just do that for now, and then if it's a multiple of 3 or 5, we're going to do sum plus equals i. Now in order, in order to determine if it's a multiple of 3 or 5, I'm going to create a helper function is divisible and it's going to take a number and the divisor and I'm going to just uh, use the modulus operator turn num mod divisor equals zero so determine if it's evenly divisible and now we're going to use it if is divisible I ah, I and 3 or is divisible I and 5 uh, it's a multiple of 3 and 5 and then we're going to return the, the correct answer which is just our sum alright let's go back over to the answer page refresh it hit solve and then we'll pass paste the answer into here type in the confirmation code 75153 Enter. Congratulations. You are correct. I am the 348,969th person. That's not very special. Alright. 
Moving on to number two. <sighs> number two. Each new term in the Fibonacci sequence is generated by adding the two previous terms. I know that. Okay, here's some Fibonacci numbers. By considering the terms in the Fibonacci sequence whose values do not exceed, so Fibonacci numbers below 4 million, find the sum of the even-valued terms. Okay, we're doing something similar. I'm going to copy this code here. Paste it in. Problem tracker at 2. Var sum equals 0. Uh, we need to go until a Fibonacci number is over 4,000. I think that's going to, or 4 million. That should be big enough. Uh, we'll need a Fibonacci, Fibonacci, Fibonacci function. Uh, Alright, so we're going to do, find the Fibonacci number for each position. And now we'll write our function. Uh, function, which is Fib of n. Let's do it the naive way for now. If n less than or equal to 1, return uh, 1. Otherwise, we return uh, fib of n minus 1, oopsies, plus fib of n plus 1, or n minus 2. That's the basic Fibonacci function. All right. Now we need to check to see if Fibonacci is above 4 million, we're going to stop at 4 million. Okay, insert on. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, if Fib is greater than 4 million, we're just going to return sum. Otherwise, if is divisible f and 2, so in other words, if it's even, sum plus equals f, and we shouldn't even need that. All right, so now let's refresh the page and hit solve and see what we get. Four seven seven six eight. check. Boom. All right, two problems down. Thanks again for tuning in to this Beer and Code, where I solve some Project Euler problems. Uh, I'll be doing some more in some future episodes, uh, so please let me know if you enjoyed this, and I will do some more. Uh, once again, thank you to Grain Belt for being an awesome beer. I don't know why I'm thanking them. I pay for all of this beer. They don't sponsor me or anything. But if you enjoyed this kind of uh, stuff, please like or comment or subscribe and let me know. And uh, tune in again. Uh, I may try to start producing videos more often than once a week. I want to be able to do uh, more variety of things. So uh, let me know if you think that's a good idea, too. Also, uh, this squeaky thing in my uh, headphones is bothering me, so I might get a mic. All right. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Cheers.